What is up, all you good people? What is it? Every parking lot downtown? Reserve parking. You park here, you get a ticket. Reserved here, reserved there. Really? We don't want to always pay for parking in these damn parking garages. All I want to do is get, get a burrito, a healthy burrito, and leave. Why? I understand you work at these businesses. There's parking garages everywhere. But why is it in this parking lot, 90% of it says if you park here, you're getting towed or it's reserved. And one time a guy told me in this parking lot, it's reserved to all those other uh, businesses around. I'm like, no, it should be for that restaurant where I can go get my food. I'm not parking at parking meters or anything like that because that's dumb. Because see what I'm talking about right there? Reserve parking. Damn, I almost bought him out because that's so uh, freaking steep. Haha, <laughs> it ain't that hot. You don't need no umbrella. Look at that old ass church. Nice architecture. Boom. So, I'm going to talk to you guys in today's video about goals that I want to achieve. So, the goals that I want to achieve right now is to better myself financially, right? And... A way to do that is my job offers like a delivery service, right? Like, I guess you drive in their little vans and deliver packages. Everybody's seen these uh, delivery vehicles. You know, everybody knows what I'm talking about. It's called uh, Amazon Fleet. And basically, from what I've uh, researched, they get paid anywhere from 25 or $18 to $25. So, um, if you're getting paid $25 an hour, that's equivalent to maybe like $3,800 a month. And if you're doing a uh, $18 an hour uh, position, because that's where they start you at, I guess it depends on your skill level and uh, your experience. You'd be making about $2,500 a, a month or something like that. And when you looked, when I uh, Googled it or figured it up, it's basically one is forty-eight thousand dollars a year, and one is around thirty-four thousand dollars a year, which are both more than my income I'm making now. So I definitely want to put in the uh, time when they say there's uh, availability for that position for those things to be opened, because I definitely want to make more money. And me and my buddy were talking about it that when they uh, say there's uh, openings, he wants to jump on it and I'm gonna jump on it because I wanna make more money and I wanna better myself, I wanna buy my uh, own house, I wanna get a better car, and with that kind of money, and it's a full-time position, so it's gonna give me the $48,000 a year or $34,000 a year. Either way, with both of those incomes, I'm able to buy my first house and definitely, definitely not be struggling, that's for sure. Because I think it's everybody's goal in life to make as much money as you possibly can. And if I can do that with the company I'm with right now, I'm perfectly fine with that. If they open up the uh, the uh, Amazon fleet where I live, then that means all you'd be doing is delivering those um, packages. And I don't have any, any problems with that. I think it'd be a very easy job, not stressful at all. You just drive around all day, which I already love, and you get a... Um, deliver packages how hard is that how fun is that i don't really know but the money is a motivating factor that it would better my life making that much more money you know and uh like i said that's a that's a hell of a uh, realistic goal is what i want to do that if it's well if it's enough money to make me where i could buy a house i'm going to do the job because i want to buy my ho a house and with a good amount of money he's going to be able to do that because for a lot of people you're not happy you're just settling for 
whatever is out there and it's paying it's not paying you bills it's not getting you where you want to be in life and where you want to be in life is maybe owning your own house in a nice neighborhood having a lot of property or owning a big truck like this toyota that's just passed me right there that toyota tacoma you know you gotta uh realistically think you're 20 years old you're 30 years old you're 40 years old are you happy where your life is right now because a lot of you mother truckers out there are like i don't care i'm just doing my job yeah but if your job is not paying you enough what are you trying to do with your life because everybody needs to do the job that they want to do because then that would motivate you to get off your ass and make something of yourself and do your work. If you're just doing a job because it pays the bills, you're not really satisfied. You're not really happy. You're never going to be happy at that job because there's a lot of people that always say, when you say, raise your hand, are you happy to be at your job? A lot of people go, I'd rather be at home uh, doing other stuff. But what kind of house do you want for yourself that is going to cost a lot of money? Well, I don't know how much the damn house is going to cost. I've always wanted a two-story uh, at least a three bedroom house with a two car garage and that's a damn uh, uh, pink trailer and a guy's driving it what I thought a baby girl would be driving that but uh, no seriously that's exactly what I want a two story house that has uh, a two car garage three bedrooms that's all I need in life I, I definitely want like a house that wraps around like with the wrap around porch those are so dope those are really dope like I guess you'd call it like a country house those are so dope and like I said, I have realistic goals and I'm trying to achieve them. And if my job opens up that position, which my buddy says uh, they should be, I, I, and they hire me for that, oh, hell yeah, baby, I'm going to be satisfied because I'm going to be able to do the things that I want to do in life, you know? can't just live your life with, like, a basic attitude of whatever happens, happens. Because for the longest time, I used to be that guy, whatever happens, happens. And now, I'm not like that. I'm like, I'm turning uh, 35 years old, uh this year I need to start thinking about uh, real life goals and uh, achieving these goals and making something myself and not just whatever whatever because uh, that, that's not a way to get through life you know your family's gonna be gone at one point you got to have money to support yourself you got to look in the mirror like I said and come to Jesus you know you got to say hey how, how am I gonna better myself and what am I gonna do to better myself if you have to have two jobs to uh, get that lifestyle then get two jobs I've, all, I, I've still told you guys, I'm still thinking about doing like Grubhub or uh, something like that on the side because that's going to bring in maybe another $600 that uh, I'm not making. If you look at that van right there, that van, that is one of those, uh, I think, Amazon fleet type of vans. If you could see it right here, that's the kind of van that I would be driving and delivering, but it would say like Amazon on the side instead of uh, Mercedes. If you look at that van right there that van that is one of those uh i think amazon fleet type of vans i'm not i'm not saying i'm not trying to be an asshole or trying to motivate anybody or uh anything like that i'm just saying what i'm trying to do as myself you know i'm I, i'm done trying to motivate people you know i try to motivate uh friends in the past and they just don't listen so i'm like if they're not going to listen to me and they're just gonna sit on their ass and never do nothing with their life. That's that's on them, you know. I gotta focus on Trevor and not focus on Billy down the street or focus on Michelle or whoever. You know, I gotta focus on myself and better myself. And like I said, talking to my buddy at work, he's uh he's 43 and he's telling me because he has uh, kids, he's doing everything in his power to make the most money he possibly can to support his kids. And me and him always work together and always like joke and stuff and that's one thing that we were both saying is we have to make something of ourselves we have to make our family proud we have to put in the hours and like i said that little van that you've seen uh those ones is basically the ones that amazon has but it'll say amazon fleet on the side and with amazon fleet basically amazon fleet is a uh is a Pro is a uh, delivery like like the they would be delivering this Amazon strictly Amazon packages and you would I think what they do is they take the Kindle tablet I think and then you take a picture like snap it and it automatically emails a picture to the customer saying hey your package was delivered it's on the front porch and it's more of a security thing that they have that because you know so many people are uh, uh, being dirtbags and stealing people's packages the rise of stealing packages you know and the funniest thing is uh we had a meeting today they say the most selling thing in 2018 on amazon was diapers and clothes so you're stealing people's diapers what a loser 
but uh as always guys that is my video and i'm gonna talk to you guys in the next one thanks for stopping by and enjoying the ride just remember when you watch these videos i'm not necessarily trying to motivate you but i'm definitely telling you what you guys should do if you have a job and it pays you minimum wage why not if you have a car why not do an uber or grubhub or something like that it's going to bring in some extra income so uh you can make a living a decent living so for myself i'm definitely putting in the work once they open up that amazon fleet i'm jumping on it like i said because it's going to bring me a better life overall so as always i'll see you catch